so good morning all and welcome along uh, we are out on yet another 50cc this is the HAS Firefox and we're going to find out what it's like for speed how good it is compared to the other bikes that I have been testing this week test ride for a customer he has purchased this one tell you one thing it is quick, quick and nippy up to 30 mile an hour Right, let's go down to RB Bridge and have a look around and get my test ride in on route number two, Simpson Village again. We're going to do it slightly different this morning. We're going to have a different route. I'm going to change it up slightly so you don't get the same old route every week. We're going to do something different. So, what's it like for seating? It sits very, very high. Now, I'm a 32 inch leg, and when I'm on the front of the seat, I can just about flat foot. It is really high in the seat, this thing. So, very high bike, very easy to manoeuvre though. And good old analog set of clocks in front of me. So, down here, we have a voltage meter, tells you your battery charge, or something different. You have your speedo in the middle. And as always, they've gone and stuck the kilometres on the outside, but you can read it what it says on the inside because it's red on black. Hooray! Not silver on white like some scooters. And a fuel tank down the bottom. You have the time. 7.49. Yes, it's 10 to 8. I've been in since 7 o'clock this morning getting the bikes out. And lo and behold, this one was buried right at the back of my MOT bay. So I've had to get all the bikes out to go and test ride this one. But this is in the black and red. And you will see in a minute. Nice wide mirrors. Set quite low, but you've got a perfect view of the road behind. And I can see Matey Boy in his car following me along. On your left hand controls the standard horn at the bottom, indicators, main beam dip beam. Over on the right hand side, just a start button. No fancy gimmicks on this one. No extras like hazard lights or a kill button. You don't need all that. 30 mile an hour, as I say, grip it, rip it, and just open the thing up full bore. You can sit 30 mile an hour in the corners, absolutely perfect. Currently we are doing 28, as you would expect. Won't go any faster, I am pegged full throttle. So 28, 28 mile, mile an hour bike, as all the 50 cc's are. And you still get those that go, oh god, I wanted to do 35, 40. No, it's a 28 mile an hour bike, they all are. Right, into RB Bridge. Let's duck under here. E-bike, someone's left out there. That won't last very long, wheels will be off that before five minutes. Right, let's go right up the end in the light and let's have a look around this AJS Firefox. How easy is it to get it onto the main stand? Quick whip up, very very easy, so black and red, set off with the red suspension at the rear, one thing I do like, aluminium tread plates, that's pretty nifty, set off with the AJX, AJS Firefox logo, and it's all LEDs again, all around the front, projector style headlight, and you've got H4 down the bottom for your main beam, and let's just pop that up, Jesus, that is bright. Yeah, so that is pretty good. When you go back to your dip, goes back to your projector style with your little daytime running light position light to the top. AJS logos everywhere. I mean, just looking down the outside, little exhaust guard. And it's pretty nifty. Just to the front, drum to the rear. Nice and easy to maintain and kick start to the rear of the bike. There we go. And you've got the ability with the rack, loads of little bolt holes there to put a top box. So you can mount a top box to the back if you so require. Storage on the seat, pretty easy. Now, I've got to remember if you have to push and turn on this one. No, that is just the ignition lock, so it means that there is a key slot down the side. There we go. Key slot down the side, pop the seat. Enough to get 
your gear in there, you're not going to get a full face helmet. E5 fuel at the back, and the seat locks down nice and easy. And a little pointy key as well, so you know how to get your ignition on. So on your obligatories, engine management light, indicators, main beam. That is all you need on there. But it sounds good. Right, let's get out, have a ride. Dropping it off the main stand. We have 4K on the bike at the moment. We're going to rack up some more. <coughs> let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, around about the obligatory 10 seconds or so just to get out of the 30 mile an hour. So about the same as all the others. When you do roll off the throttle, you do get a little bit of engine braking, but not a lot. It's mostly freewheeling. What's it like down the hill? Yeah, you can feel the engine braking just kicking in as you're coming down the hill. So you've got a tiny bit of engine braking off that variator. The best thing is, with a 50, you can peg it through the corners. Twist and go, no messing around. Just open it up, shut it down, open it up, shut it down. And obviously on the main roads, a little bit careful as you always should be. You're doing 30 mile an hour, just keep an eye on the cars behind in your mirrors. Crack through lovely, lovely Simpson with the old fashioned church. Look at that, doesn't that look good? And yet again, another ped. Those hats always get me, you know. Cycle hats, it looks like he's got five bananas on his head. But better to have a bit of protection than not, I suppose. Look a bit daft in a full face helmet. Uh, Milton Keynes has a lot of these e-bikes and cyclists at the moment. A hell of a lot of them. Everybody is getting a bicycle at the moment. I can't see the fascination in that, apart from saving yourself a bit of fuel. Putting all the energy out the pedal to work. Nah, I'd rather have a 50 or a 125 if I needed to do something like that. Low speed stability, pretty good. And whack it up the speed. As soon as you open it up, you can see your charge voltage is going up. So it's charging about 13, 14 volts, which is what it should do. As always on the 50, just sit off to the side. I wouldn't be dominating the lane on the dual carriageway, but each to their own. If you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. I tend to sit sort of position one ish between one and two. Just keep myself out the curb where all the loose gravel is. But she's podding along well, 28 mile an hour. Right, we're going to scoot down the side again. We'll go down this way, not down past the stadium. And we will go this way. Green light, which means I can grip and rip, catch up to the traffic. Before they decide to accelerate away. Now the braking on this, obviously you've got a drum to the rear, does the job, the disc on the front is super super good, does stop you if you do need that little bit of extra braking. And car stuck behind me, what a shame. Doesn't matter because we are into the 30s in a minute. Ease off the throttle slightly, keep the power on. Corner it hard over. I tell you what, on these tyres, it corners well. Holds the line. Perfect. This is quite a good little handling bike. Now, obviously, this is around about the same price as all the 50s. So, you're looking at anything with a 50cc. 
roughly anything between sort of 1900 pounds up to about 21 so 1900 to about 2100 roughly for most of your 50cc scoots at the moment which isn't bad when you consider you're going to be getting 100 to 120 to the gallon your tax is going to be negligible, your insurance depends on you obviously who's insuring it, who you're going with but we have seen sort of some insurances are at sort of 200 up to about sort of 600 it depends what you get, obviously your first year they're going to hammer the hell out of you but it's still cheaper compared to what I'm paying yes, ah, insurance, oh what fun that is and obviously, if you're using it for social, domestic and pleasure, it is going to cost you a lot less than if you were using it for business. Now, if you are doing Uber, even on a 50 or a 125, if you're doing Uber, you need business insurance. Yes, you do, which is going to cost you a little bit more than standard insurance, because you're riding all day. So look to double that if you're going to uh, be doing stuff and for, for the purposes of business you do need business insurance and that includes uber so don't go and make the mistake of getting the wrong insurance if you're using it just for college it's called social domestic pleasure and obviously because i do moto vlogging on mine and i use the rb bike that was a always to work some days and I do super sausage but I am doing YouTube and TikTok and Twitter and all that lot I have to pay business insurance and shock horror my GTR currently costs me £770 a year but I have got absolutely everything covered so that's breakdown, misfueling, leather cover, helmet cover and of course accident insurance or claims insurance so I would always say if you are buying insurance for a bike make sure you've got your clothing cover in there helmet cover make sure that you've got obviously breakdown if they can include breakdown into your insurance because the bike does break down you are going to be stuck on the side of the road without a recovery so get yourself some breakdown insurance included and also make sure that you've got misfueled the amount of people that have put diesel in their bikes by accident I know very hard to do but some people have done it so get yourself some misfueling as well and make sure you get their top up accident lawyer as well because obviously if it's a claim and they the other company decide no no we're going to fight it you need an accident solicitor so always stack your insurance go for the best not the cheapest Let's shop around, compare the market, even Tesco does bike insurance now. Check that out. Oh, you can't park there. Uh, do you want to... Uh, end of the week bus driver. So last few miles are at 10k, so that's about four and a bit miles. We shall go down here and back to the garage. Very easy to see that display when you've got your indicators on as well. One thing I do like is a decent display. Nice bright lights. Makes it easy for you youngsters to see what you're doing. And this little AJS is a bag of fun. It's great, I have got loads more 50s to ride this week. So we've done the Colt, we've done the Scrambler, we've now done the AJS Firefox. Oh, of course, it is bin day today. Oh, lovely, joy of joys. So we will sit in traffic and find out what is going on. I could filter, actually. I'm quite happy sat in traffic at the moment. Come on, peoples. Right, we are off. Yet, more roadworks. Really. Filter time, I think. See, 50cc, you can filter. You can get round the corners. 
I'm on the little learner. And you just see how bright those lights are in the back of that car. Why are we braking? Come on. Oh, we're doing 15 mile an hour. This is good. Oh, lo and behold, they are going my way. Might be a case in a minute. Can a 50cc overtake an Audi? Turn the corner. Doing well. Come on. Obviously a first lesson. Straighten the wheel. Mind the Mercedes. Bless her. Oh, bless him. Can't tell at the moment. At this speed, I bet it's a woman driver. No, no, that's sexist. You can't say that. I did design a website the other day to see who was going to be the best driver. Would it be a male or would it be a female driver? And it kept crashing. It's an obligatory bit of RB humour for the day. And we're <laughs> oh, we're doing 15 mile an hour. Come on. I can't even got the power to overtake. Oh god. No, we're doing 20. There we go. Bless them. We all started somewhere, didn't we? So let her do her thing. So back to the garage we go. Cup of coffee awaits and of course my early morning cigarette before we get in. And a load more bikes to service. I've got uh, four big Hondas in today. A couple of thousand cc's, a couple of six hundreds to service. And it's it's a Honda day today. A couple of Kawasaki. Oh, do you like that scooter? A little electric scooter. Ah, Simon GTR 1400. I'll have to... Uh, no. Simon loves electrics. So if you enjoyed the video, as always, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the thumbs up. Let us know what you think of the uh, AJS 50cc. I think it's a sweet little scooter actually. It's really high in the seat, but it gets you right up so you can see the traffic. And it's pretty nippy once you rip that throttle open and get some power on. So, it's 12k on the uh, bike. That is what we need. Happy days. We are heading back. So what are we doing this week? Have yourself a good and don't forget, watch out. Uh, the live stream's coming up this week. Peaky may be doing a bit, I don't know yet. But uh, loads more videos to come up. Keep an eye on the channel. And watch out for the shorts. Go and look at that Predator helmet we did. Oh Jesus, that was a bit of kit. But until the next time, when we're out riding with RB, be well, ride safe, and as always, it's a big goodbye from me.